doing a video review of a USB tester. I did one like a couple years ago, I think, a year ago. I just bought this. You can buy this on Amazon for about $6. Companies sell it for a whole bunch of different prices. $6, like $4, um, a couple dollars on a bunch of shipping. Uh, bought this on eBay. Looks like it's kind of scratched up a little bit. Bought, the, bought this on eBay for, I think, like $2.95, and it was shipped out of China. It took about three weeks to get here. It looks totally different than the one that I... Well, if it's color, then that's all that matters. Maybe it doesn't look different. So what you have is you've got an out and an out and an in. And what you would normally do is you would plug this into, let's say you plug this into your computer, and then you would plug in your output, which would go to your item, your cell phone or whatever, and you'd be able to check the voltage and the current that is being drawn on this thing. Does this have a button on here? Um, I don't know. The one that I did before, you had a whole bunch of different things you could adjust. Maybe this is a, a touch switch over here up and down. I don't know. I'm going to plug it in and we're going to test this out and see what is going on here. Yeah, if you like my videos, do a thumbs up, subscribe, or a like. Product you want me to review, if I can get a hold of it, I'll do the review. If you want to donate to my pay, uh, to my YouTube channel, ask for my PayPal info. So, uh, like I said, I bought this on eBay for like two ninety five or something. I don't know how they're able to build this thing and pay shipping and send this out to me and make a profit. But if you pick it up on Amazon, it's about four or five dollars, six dollars. So I'm going to plug this into a chart. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do two tests just to see how this thing works. I'm going to plug this into a regular BlackBerry charger and then I'm going to plug it into my cell phone and I'm going to see what the voltage and the current is that's popping out of here because that's mainly why I bought it and then I'm going to plug it into a, a high output I think it's a what is that called uh, USB 3 or high charging fast charging charger and we're going to see if there's much of a difference there should be I did a video review on the Aki uh, or Aki uh, charger a couple weeks ago so I want to see what the actual voltage and current is. So, uh, and then I'm also going to do another video in, a, in another few days where I'm going to plug in a power bank that I got from Costco and I'm going to plug that in and see what the output is that's coming out of that that's charging the cell phone. So here we go. Sorry about the setup over here, but I don't have a professional person doing all my videos like all these famous YouTube stars. So, um... What are we going to do here? I got the cell phone here that I'm going to go plug in my charger cable right now. Okay, and so then we've got this cable. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to plug this into the output jack of the tester. All right. And I think they're both the same. It just allows you to do... Uh, testing of two different outputs. So we've got the charger here. I wish I could make this a little bit easier. Let's turn this this way and maybe I can get a better view over here. Are we going to get a connection? Okay, so it plugs in that way, so let's turn it this way. And let's see what we get. Do we get anything? Looks like it's showing that we're getting 9 volts. I think that's what it is. 9 volts at 0.87 amps. I don't know if this does anything. Does this do anything? Some of these things, uh, this doesn't have a switch. Some of these units, you've got a button you can press on here, and you can get different readings. You can get different readings of current, different types of current, or uh, I think peak current. This one seems to be very basic. That's probably why it's $3. So it looks like we've got 9 volts popping out of here at, I'm assuming that's 0.84 amps. I thought this was a 3 amp charger. That's why I'm kind of not really sure why we're getting that. I'm going to plug this in on the other side. We should get the exact same reading. Okay. Over here we're getting 5.17 out with no current because we are not drawing any 
current yet. Okay, so what do we have here? We've got 5.09 and we're almost at one amp, which I'm really surprised about because this is a, I think this is a three amp, supposed to, well, supposed to be a max three amp circuit for uh, fast charging. And there's no doubt that this thing does fast charge. When I plug it in, it charges in an hour and a half and the other charger usually takes uh, forever, which is a 1.3 amp original BlackBerry charger. So we're charging at less than one amp, uh, 9.3 volts now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in an original BlackBerry charger, the 1.3 amp, and this thing should go way, way down in, uh, ooh, I don't wanna plug that into the USB port, that would be dangerous. So we're gonna unplug this thing. And we're not going to plug this into, is that going to plug in that way? No. doesn't want to plug in that way. So let's plug this in first. Mm. Okay, so this is kind of awkward. This is definitely kind of awkward to, uh, to use this setup. With an extension cord, it would be a little bit easier. Uh, let's plug this in on the top. We'll see what kind of reading we get. I should have a reading on here. Why do I not have a reading? Interesting. Five volts at 0.9 amps. So whereas this is a 1.3 amp charger and the other one is a 3 amp charger, this they are both charging at about 0.9 amps but the original charger is charging at 5 volts and the Aki which charges, it's a fast charger and it's able to figure out what the battery can take, it jumps it up to a 9 volt charge. I, I was thinking the current charge would go way up. It would be uh, more current going into the battery, but it's not. It's more voltage going into the battery. Very interesting. So, uh, and I wouldn't know that if I hadn't bought this. What does it say? Key Kawisi? I think it's Kawisi. So let's look at that one more time. We're at 0.9 amps, almost 1 amp at 5.04 volts and we're going to unplug this now and we are going to plug in the fast charger oh boy and the fast charger is showing the same current 0.9 amps but we're at 9.11 volts so that's going to be my review of the uh, USB tester, this USB detector. Uh, this one is as basic as could be. There are others that are out there that cost uh, probably two or three times as much that, as I said, allow you to check peak current, uh, I think peak voltage, and they give you a lot more info. But for this, this is really all I need. I just wanted to see what's going on, and I'm going to use it to check out my uh, USB battery pack to see how much current is I can't really see how much it's able to supply but I'll be able to see what it's charging the uh, cell phone with so okay so that's very interesting we just went over we just went up to over one amp and I'm sure over time this would probably zip on up even higher let me go look at the phone really quick and see where we are at in the charging we're at 78 percent phone charge so it's probably not taking as much current as it would if it was lower. Now we're almost at one and a half amps. So that's the advantage of using the fast chargers. They change the voltage and the current dependent on the state of the battery, the charge of the battery, so that they're able to charge at a faster rate. There's a lot of electronics in the, these chargers to, to be able to detect what the battery is capable of taking. So again, we've got nine volts and we've got 0.990 amps um, we're charging at about 1% a second, 1% a minute. A second would be awesome. 1% a minute 
on the BlackBerry Pre, which is a very high capacity, high amperage uh, cell phone battery, much bigger than the iPhone battery. So it takes uh, a lot more to charge it up, but we're, we're just cranking out at, now we're back down to 9.3, but we're still at the 9 volt setting, and we'll do one last time with the, hopefully I can plug this thing in without a lot of problems. Um, is it going to let me do that? Okay. And so this is the original one again. We are now dropped down to 5 volts at the same 87.87, 9 out, 9 out current. So it's, it's strictly just the voltage that seems to be what's changing this. And that's going to be my review of the Kawisi charger. Like I said, I bought it on eBay. There are a whole bunch of companies on Amazon that are selling this. I'm going to put a link to one of them in my description uh, in case you're interested in getting it. And if not, you know, you can also pick it up on eBay. Remember, do that subscribe and the thumbs up. Thanks for watching, everyone.